in this video, me and Ali are covering many miles with many motoring adventures. Let's see what unfolds. First stop, Stoke. Wow. I've had to stop just because that is entirely magnificent. Well, now it's sunny enough to get the roof on. So, um, yeah, I've decided to don a hat. Cheers. Right, I think I'm facing the wrong way here. Let's go and turn around. It's slightly confusing, it doesn't actually show you how to get out of this place. What a beautiful day! Driving in my 2 CV. Driving stop behind a lorry. Just come past me on the roundabout. Oh no, he's gone that way. Hurrah! Well, that's our visit to Donlaw Racing um, completed and um, sadly I can't show you any footage, I'm saving that for a magazine but there's a subtle hint. Um, I haven't been for a drive in it sadly um, but then on the road frankly I think 29 brake horsepower is enough. So onwards to Cannock. Well, pleasant little lunch stop um, in a crematorium. Um, Quite expecting that. Oh, and apparently a graveyard as well. Um, try and drive as quietly as we can in a two CV. No funerals going on at the moment, I'm pleased to report. But there was one earlier with a gorgeous Rolls Royce Silver Cloud hearse. Um, series one or two, very nice. But you can't really go and video people's hearses while they're in action. That's um, generally a bit frowned upon, I think. I mean, to be honest, from a Hubner point of view, the one going on in front of me at the moment is even better. For it is um, Ford Scorpios. Scorpio hearse and two limousines. Lovely. But don't go ooh as you're driving past the funeral procession. That's bad manners. We're at the auctions again. Um, playing the auction game. I've got my list of cars I have chosen. And... Um, I shall take you through them and we'll see what they fetch. So this is my choice for car, but it is an actual colour. Delicious. Fiat Seicento. Mostly the same shade of orange. Mmm. I am hubnutting. Are you living or just picturing? I'm doing videoing. I was just saying that that is my choice for automatic. And possibly the car I would most like to take home. Mmm. A 4x4 van or pickup. I picked this Nissan X Trail with serious cataracts, but a little worry because it doesn't seem that bad. And it is a sport diesel, and uh, that might actually be desirable for a state or MPV. I've gone for this um, Citroen Picasso, it's not a diesel, it does have a, an MOT certificate, uh, it has covered 74,000 miles. It's um, yeah, a little bit hanging in places, but not bad. My non-European choice is this delicious Kia Cerato, which um, is an automatic. Glamorous. My potluck luck choice, this Peugeot 206 with dents and missing bits all over it, it does have an MOT declared insurance total loss and in the over two litre category I've picked this BMW 5 series mostly for this although uh, it won't take too much trouble to sort out and it, I've seen people clocking that for interest and it is a two and a half diesel so I may have chosen badly we shall see here we go then it's the Fiat Seicento Oh, electric windows. 110 pounds, that's not a bad start, is it? Nice little car for 110 pounds. 
right, here we go then. It's a Daihatsu YRV, which I've put down because it's an automatic. And I'm trying desperately not to bid on it. Kia Serato came in squealing away. Excellent. It's my MPV Desire Picasso. Oh, that was a good choice. I did spot that one so. Let's see how we do. Take that. It's my big gamble and it's drawing a crowd. Oh dear. I think I've balled up here. Yeah. There is a total loss, Cat D. I reckon this could be a couple of rounds. Big diesel doesn't scare them as much as a big petrol. No. Seventeen seventy was that? Yeah, I think that's what I heard him say. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear. Four figures is never good in this game. My last card is battered 206. It is a HDI. Um, dented on pretty much every panel and also an insurance total loss. Let's see what she makes. Valley Railway. Dirty, dirty, oh, delicious. Well, it's been a very pleasant day. We played the auction game and then we went and had a look at some steam railways in Bridgenall and a bit of general reaching about. All very pleasant. Uh, we're now off to find somewhere for a cup of tea and then I've got to head to Birmingham where I'm having dinner with a friend um, before getting ready for tomorrow's Drive It Day run from Coventry to Bista Heritage. I'll be there for 8 o'clock in the morning if not earlier. Ugh. So we're now almost back in Cannon, which was where we started today. Uh, we went about 12-15 miles the wrong way. Really, but worse for my Scottish jumps, they've got to drive back to Glasgow today. And it's now quarter to six in the evening. And it's gorgeous, I've got the roof back, we're pottering along, I've selected the uh, motorway. It's lovely. Well, this is all rather different, isn't it? This isn't the green, lush um, countryside of Wales. No, this is Birmingham where I grew up. And, um, yeah, I wonder what Birmingham in Alabama is like. Is it as crowded as this? Gorgeous evening, no, still got the roof off. And um, yeah, it just feels lovely. I, I, I like summer. Oh. Another traffic light. Dave Kalos and Mark Free Fiesta. Wonderful. We are done in this exclusive part of Birmingham, which
which I've been driving to in this car for probably the best part of 18 years, which is quite remarkable. Oh, nice sunset brewing in the distance. You won't be able to see that because it's just looking like a shiny thing. That's spectacular. Right, now we must hasten to uh, Warwickshire. Funnily enough, we're going back to the B&B um, &B. I stayed in last weekend um, because it's owned by a 2 uh, which is nice. Uh, not sure he's going to be there, he's out with friends this evening, uh, but I'm spending two nights there um, while I do various car things. Oh, it is strange. You know, th th these are the roads I grew up on, effectively. Strange to think that this is all so familiar to me given where I live now. We're still merrily driving around without the roof on and uh, it's now five past eight at night. I love spring and summer. Oh, is that a speed? Have you meant to slow down for those? Yeah, not intuitively. Well, you won't be able to see much, but um, pouring down the rain and we've got thunderstorms going on. Um, uh, ooh, there we go. That's what we get for um, having a nice day of sunshine. Ah, oh, the joy of the UK.